Cause we is back once again with another reaction video, bruh. And today I'm about to bring you guys another reaction. So if you guys are new, go down, like, and subscribe to the channel down below. Let's get it for more reactions. And if you guys don't subscribe to the channel, that's okay. But at least hit the like button, man. Dang. I appreciate my returning subscribers for being here. Thanks for watching my videos and my reactions, man. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, being here and showing support by watching and liking, man. I appreciate that. So let's get it on. Let's continue on with this, man. We got three more of Mr. Mr. Nightmare. That's what that's that's what this is. That's 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 what this guy is, Mr. Nightmare. Three creepy, true hiking horror stories, man. We about to get into this. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully I can enjoy these stories, man. Let's get it. And let's go. Story number one. I once took a trek on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania, which is the longest hiking only trail in the world. Really? I went it alone just for fun. Really owned the I went late in the fall though, so it was cold the and there weren't many other people only hiking. hiking trail. In fact, I think I only ran into like two other people going the opposite way. That's cool, man. The part of the trail I was on was in thick forest, and it was definitely a scenic walk. The trail ran alongside a small river and nothing could be heard but the sound of the flowing river and the early morning birds chirping. <laughs> yeah. It was time for me to sit down and take a break, so I found a big rock sitting aside the river and sat down on it. I took a sip of my Gatorade, and then I could swear I was hearing a baby's cries coming from the distance. Baby's it was coming cries. from further down the trail in the direction I was walking. What? Of course, I had to get up and follow the sound of it, because of that off chance that a baby was stranded in the woods alone. The As I that? walked further down the trail, though, it seemed like the baby's cries stayed the same distance away. This went on for like half a minute of walking fast before I gave up, and assumed it was somebody with a baby walking down the trail. I sat down on another baby? rock I found on the side of the trail by the river. Eventually the crying seemed to just stop. Like, it didn't fade away really, it just stopped abruptly. I sat on that rock for five minutes just taking in the nature and taking a few videos on my phone. Okay, That's when thing. I heard foot The longest trail in the whole entire world. So it, it stuff like that can happen, you know, like some like anything can happen. Like you wouldn't even you wouldn't even believe that would happen because it's like this this is the longest trail, so it's like, bro, you never know what's going to happen. People probably hike every single day, you know. So stuff like that can happen, you know. So, so if they come across a baby, you know, strip, like possibly stranded. It's like, bruh, it's not even. Not Steps even, approaching um, nearby. Not Expecting even to see another hiker walking the trail, that I saw some frantic looking woman hurrying over to me. She came so fast and so close that it actually scared me. <laughs> she stopped uncomfortably close to my face and started screaming at me, Have you seen my baby? Oh, I calmly told her was... I heard a baby crying not too long ago and told her to follow me. We Why walked quickly down the trail in the direction I was chasing the sounds of the baby earlier. Oh yeah, that's right. He said he was probably. I looked leaving. back every few seconds oh. to make sure she was keeping up with me. Eventually, I summed up the nerve to ask her how on earth she lost her baby. Right. But she didn't answer, so I turned around again and stopped when I saw she was gone. And the weird thing, she was right on my tail just ten seconds ago. What? I screamed that's out weird. for her a few times, but the only sounds around me were the sounds of the birds chirping and the river. I figured even if she trailed off away from me, I would at least still be able to see her in the distance. Right. I stood there for a long time deciding what to do next. Just move on with my life and continue the trail, or <laughs> walk back and try to find this woman. I did one more quick 180 degree scan of the area we just came from. And what I saw next may not sound very disturbing, but it was disturbing to me in that very spot. I saw the woman standing across the river, arms hanging lifelessly at her sides, and she was looking at me, not saying anything, not moving a muscle, blank expression, just standing like a statue watching me. Yeah, that's weird. I had made up my decision right there, and that was to move the hell on with my life. <laughs> right he said there. that's what I made my decision. I walked as fast as Wait I could away from there until my Dude. What would you do before we before we play that funny part? What would y'all do, man? Standing like a statue, watching me. Dude, I'm, I had made up my decision right if, there. If I see somebody stranded, in, if I see somebody in the woods, all this crazy stuff happening, 
unknown babies crying. Who knows whose baby that's? Who knows whose baby that is? Even though that was the latest baby, I think. All this crazy stuff happened. You're already scared, man. You're already second guessing it. And all of a sudden, you just see this lady standing across the river. Like, bro, I would do the exact same thing. I'm taking off. I'm running away, bro. I'm sorry. I can't help you no more. I would do the, I would do the same thing. And that was to move thing. the hell on with my life right there. <laughs> I walked as fast as I could away from there until my calves hurt from walking so fast for so long. You might have to start Eventually, running. I made it back to my car after looping around another trail. I cut the hike short the after what happened. The trail in the world. I was truly unsettled by it and even started to question my sanity. Like, did that actually even happen? It seemed so unreal. And yet, at the same that's time, cr- it felt scary. real in the sense that I lived that's, it. That's creepy I just right want there. to know if anyone else who hiked the Appalachian Trail had any kind of freakish experiences like this. That is crazy. Like I said, you never know what happens on that long trail, bro. You got a long trail that goes for miles. You never know what's going to happen, man. You got to stay, stay alert at all times, bro. Especially when it's hiking. Because, you know, ghosts, you know what I'm saying, hitchhikers, random people, the crazy, but it's just the craziness, man. If you guys enjoyed that story, go down, like, like, and subscribe to the channel for more story reactions. Because I'm about to do a story part two, a story reaction part two and three right here, right now, man. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys being here. That's going to do it, man. That is going to do it. Um, Yeah. Go down. If you are new, go down, like, and subscribe to the channel down below. For more reactions, man, let's get it. Let's go, man.